This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. And last week, left-wing student activists took over a campus at Columbia University with copycat protests springing up everywhere nationwide. So-called Gaza camps and tent cities have been set up at campuses like Harvard and Yale and Berkeley, to name a few. But is any of this really organic and decentralized? Or is there a lot more here going on behind the scenes? I mean, just look at the response that some of these students give when they're asked about what they're protesting about. They don't have a damn clue. So what would you say is the main goal with tonight's uh, protest? I think the goal is just showing our por- support for Palestine and demanding that NYU stop. I honestly don't know okay. all of what NYU is doing. Is there something that NYU is doing? I really don't oh. know. I'm pretty sure they're... Do you know what NYU is doing? About what? About Israel. Why what? are we protesting here? Uh-huh. Yeah. The masked woman there says, I'm not educated. And the girl responds with, I'm not either. So what the hell are you doing there then? With identical tents being set up at every one of these sites for these clueless kids and food being shipped in, it is abundantly clear that someone is orchestrating and funding all of this. And at the tip of the spear, you'll find it's none other than billionaire George Soros and his son Alexander. And of course, they're being very stealthy about it. George Soros has been giving billions of dollars to his Open Society foundations, which his son now controls. The Open Society will then give massive amounts of money to the Tides Foundation. The Tides Foundation will then send that cash out to smaller groups who are encouraging these protests. As the money trickles down, you'll eventually find Soros-funded branches of the Students for Justice in Palestine and the Soros-funded group called the U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights. So who are they? USCPR is a political home for all who believe that freedom for the Palestinian people is an integral part of achieving our collective liberation. We provide resources and strategic support to the U.S.-based Palestine Solidarity Movement, channeling grassroots power into positive change in U.S. policy and public opinion. We work with local organizers and activists, policymakers, movement leaders, media, and advocacy organizations to advance a rights-based, accountability, and justice-orientated framework from the U.S. to Palestine. And it turns out that at at least three of these college protests, paid protesters, who are referred to as fellows, are the ones who are leading the charge. These people in particular are paid protesters who are making money to agitate and fuel the explosion of radical anti-Israel protests at colleges all across the country. The group has received at least $300,000 from Soros' Open Society Foundations since 2017. And they also took in $355,000 from the Rockefeller Brothers Fund since 2019. The Rockefeller Brothers Fund claims to be advancing social change for a more just sustainable and peaceful world. So absolutely nothing about this protest movement is organic. It's all about seeding division in a divide and conquer tactic. Order out of chaos is their modus operandi.